we hit 2,000 views, Racita. I'm more than, I mean, I can't, I don't know what to say, because, I mean, this is the quickest, and it was all because of you guys sharing my stuff and just viewing it. Shout out to everybody, and don't worry, everybody that shared it, everybody that commented on my YouTube channel is definitely, definitely going to get a shout out. So stay with me. Uh, we're going to be painting a vehicle. We, I already painted it, but I didn't know what my next vlog was. Obviously, it's going to be very hard to surpass the views I did in such short time because I feel like it was just action-packed with just something that I believe the with the title, we got a lot, a lot of views from everywhere. But couldn't have done it without you guys, so I appreciate my friends, my family. And me di cuenta quien está allí para apoyarme los que no, pues ni modo, so... Stay tuned and enjoy the ride. Shout out to my sister's mirror. This is the road to success. Fuga, fuga. Look at that beauty. Woo! That hermosa. Cha -cha -cha. Gotta get my buddies, Sean. Shout out to my boy, Sean. Gotta get that wrapped up. Get it back to him. And get paid, get paid, yo, get paid. I don't want to get canceled. I mean, my people from Pennsylvania know that. I can say this shit, but you never know who can see it. That gets me. Cualquiera se iba a encontrar las llaves to move that. I was going to drive that one. So. Hopefully, when I get catched up, I detail all the vehicles because they is crusty dusty. Don't worry, sis. I got a surprise for you. I haven't forgot about your birthday gift. Bueno, mi raza. Se llegó el tiempo de saludos. Deja de cambiar la cámara. Ahí estoy porque no quiero olvidar a nadie. Así que, como les digo, yo aprecio mucho a la gente que me sigue. Deje ver a ver si cae todo bien. Se mira todo bien aquí. No, pues sí, se mira todo bien. Y ando bien recortado. Saludos a mi compa Adrián. Compa Zapata Barbershop. Ahí en Columbus, Ohio. Si están viendo este video en Columbus, se lo recomiendo una. Porque es mi paisano. Viene de Guanajuato. Y la está perreando en esa ciudad. Va a ser uno de los más chingones. Si no, ya es más chingón para mí mi portería de pelo he batallado siempre cuando voy para allá porque aquí yo estoy loco me prendo y me voy para Columbo si a veces los barberos de aquí pues no tienen tiempo y se entiende pero pues allá nunca nunca podía encontrar a alguien de que así en caliente este compa le puede ir a las 9 de la noche lo que sea me corta el pelo y lo deja mamalón le dije el Jo pica y en corto se encendió y me cortó el pelo y más que nada tiene una buena actitud y bien positivo así que voy a dejar el link acá abajo para que lo sigan y si están en Columbus así como apoyaron a mi compa Setup Roman de Setup con su giveaway también apoyan a mi compa Adrián Ríos ahí en Columbus Ohio está por la Broad so mucho de la raza mexicana está por esos lados así que les queda corto y cerca y esta vez se pasaron de lanza porque llegué a los 2000 vistas en menos de dos semanas y nunca jamás había hecho eso así que quiere decir que una les agradó dos me apoyan y la gente que me apoya la neta aquí está saludo aunque no tenga miles de suscriptores el saludo está aquí porque se los aprecio machín porque mucha gente sabe que esto es un sueño que sigo que se me podrá dar o no pero al final del día como dijo el compa Roman disfrútalo enjoy the process y lo que quede diciendo así que pues llegó lo que quería mis badges de, de lobo entonces lo que va a ver es simplemente le voy a quitar esto y le voy a poner pensé que ya me lo había chingado que dice lobo y ya sí, sin tanto rollo y creo un lobo no no me acuerdo muy bien pero ahorita lo destapamos hay que ir a los saludos entonces antes que se me muera la ipad ya se murió y como el tiempo está loco raza el otro día que grabé pues estaba perrón dije ya se vino vino el, el verano y pues la neta como ven, está cayendo nieve. Bueno, cayó nieve. Ahí está el camaro, la troca de mi papá. Y esa, hoy la voy a terminar. Así que, Sean, you have your truck today, bro. The clips finally came in. And perfect timing. So, hay que ir. Hay que empezar con una prima que me está apoyando machín en lo que hago. Y lo que... Pues, ella ve. Ella, la prima de ella. Ahí depende el Ohio. El primo Diego. Tony de Florida, bro. I'm proud to shout out. So, here's your shout out. El primo Daniel que me apoyó con las micheladas de del compa Scarface. El coño Pepe, el compa la tosu, la neta, la neta. Espero que sí se pueda hacer algo este año con, con su truck show para andar bien paletoso allí. Mi prima Chabela, Isabel y su esposo Eduardo, Iris, mi prima Iris, mi prima Yadira, gracias. Siento que no he logrado nada, pero se siente machín que me estén apoyando y que estén pues, orgullosos de mí. Este, mi hermano, obviamente, mi prima reina, Chela, mi 
Flaca, todo Jalisco. El primo Chicho, mis papás, mi cuñada, mi sobrino, mi, mi sister, mi hermana, mi hermanita chula que le digo. Obviamente mi novia, mi compa negro, Juan Llamas, saludazos a Capen de Ohio. Ya saben que estamos al chingazo. El primo Rul, ya sabe que estamos. Él no, no, no tiene ni Facebook ni nada y ahí está apoyando. ¿Por, ¿Cómo sé? Porque pues, estamos en el chat y ya cuando acuerdo ya casi hasta acabó el video. Así que eso está perrón. Como les digo, mi barbero me quitaría la, la buena, pero pues está bien pinche frío y no quiero estar malito, apenas me bañé, como ven. Entonces ahorita vamos a ir al YouTube donde les digo que cuánto quisiera saber. ¿Quién me, a veces me dice y a veces no. ¿Quién me apoya? Y digo, oh, ¿quién, ¿quién se suscribe al canal? Pero muchas de las veces pues no, no, no me dice. Y es lo que no me gusta porque sí quisiera saber quién son. Es Juni? ¿Quién es Juni? Soy yo. Este, sí, ya estamos a las 2200 vistas, 54 likes, 46 comentarios, obviamente con yo respondiendo. Saludos al compa Pacheco, Pacheco Vlog, que anda ahorita, no sé dónde anda, sé que anda en, en Mexicali o no sé, no sé, de bomba Mazatrán anda por allá. La prima Diana, la neta, hasta West Palm Beach, saludos. El compa Monchi, saludos. El compa Alex, saludos, que le hicimos aquí del Erie, ahí estamos a chingazo, espero que un día. Le hagamos algo a la mamalona. El compa Alex. He has a badass Ram Mopar. Um, obviously it's Mopar. So Jason, if you're looking. He's, he got one like I wanted. Siempre me quedé la, con las ganas de uno. El compa Beto que está disfrutando machín. Congratulations on your future baby bro. Ahí estaremos pendiente en que será. El compa Latoso, como les dije, es un tipazo. No, ya no hemos topado así, pero no nos hemos saludado. Se va a llegar. Quiere decir que ya que nos vamos vamos a poner una buena peda, una buena plática con una buena botana del Don Tequila saludos al compa Arturo Guzmán de Houston, Texas gracias gente por estar apoyando desde allá el compa Osvaldo siempre siempre apoyando el Instagram donde likes, donde quiera se apresa Machín, ahí está su saludo Machu Plug Junior mi, mi tocayo, ahí saludo está el sol pero está bien pinche frío como que era <ríe> Toño, saludos bro my bad, you got put over with windshield tent Diría tu nombre, como decía aquí, en, pero no sé si me dejen. Tony, pues, no sé cómo viniste con ese nombre, bro, pero pues bueno. El cuñado, José Hernández, chingona la RAM que se sacó. La neta, yo quería una, pero como no me se me ajustó el precio, pues no pude. Alguien, mi sister, saludos, hermanita chula. Qué tonta, ya no llega el sobrino, mi torbellino. Rolando, ese, 108, saluditos, saluditos. El compa Dennis. Y of course, mi compa Lalo, Eric, ya saben que estamos al chingazo. Y al cabrón que dijo, two wheel drive ya slow as F. Pues iré, compa. Como ves, aquí cae nieve. Y yo me gusta traer las trocas de caché, mi amigo. Y pues para eso se ocupa cuatro puertas. Llego, mi sister. En el carro de mi mamá. Ahorita van a ver la, la felicidad que le, le da mi sobrino. Sí, pero este... Bueno, y esta que se creo que... Dejen ver a mi sobrino. ¿Quieren ver a mi sobrino? Bueno, no sé si anda aquí. Oh. ¿Eso es de los hijos? ¿Eso no es uno de nosotros? ¿Qué bro? ¿Qué, ¿Qué onda? ¿Cómo andas? Saludos. Saludos a la cámara. <risa> ¿Dónde andabas? En casa. ¿Haciendo? Sí. ¿Dónde? ¿En la guamar? ¡Hora! ¡Hora! No tires piedras, mijo, me vas a poner más trabajo. Ya vieron a mi sobrino. Es, es un torbellino. Yo le digo torbellino porque es un torbellino. Pero lo quiero con todo mi corazón. Y pues, les puedo decir, me encanta que también le encante esto de las trocas. Casi en todas se ha sacado fotos menos en esta Así que le vamos a tener que sacar una foto Y antes que se me olvide, el compa Brandon de la Cruz Compa, sus saludos Ahí le va porque se suscribió al canal Y también me siguió en Instagram, así que saludos Ese compa lo conocí antes De, de, de este video Porque lo miré en un truck meet Allá en Columbus y la neta Cómo olvidarme porque trae una troca como la que traeba La Silverado tumbada Así que pues, de, de volada lo reconocí y dije Hey compa, yo también, eh, saludos Y también pues ya, ya nos hemos visto Así que, ¿será que abrir esto no? Y ya después de este video, vamos a empezar a, a pintar con lo que le llaman color matching a, el, a esta mamalona. 
Así que pues si les gusta, si les agrada y si quieren ver el contenido de cómo lo hacemos, voy a tratar lo mejor para explicarles y como les digo, si tienen alguna pregunta de cómo hacer las cosas, pregúntenme y yo con gusto les contesto porque yo sé lo que es batallar y aprender y echar a perder para aprender y eso es lo que si, si puedo ayudar en que ustedes evi evitar que ustedes echen a perder cosas lo haré porque yo siento yo siento lo que se siente que no, nadie te, te ayude en esto porque lo siente como competencia cuando al día pues como dijo mi padre el sol era, sale para billones de personas en este mundo ah, ni más ni menos lobo y entonces esto va a ir a ser empleos algo bien, pero va a ser de aquel lado Porque, aunque no si piensen que no, es una diferencia Están cortadas más las Las entradas, ¿sí? Entonces, shish, va a quedar De caché, mi amigo Así que, una fotito así So, this is pretty much What we're painting Everything's getting painted Except the hood The roof And the screw not a fan of the r and but like I said, I just came here to paint it, so we're gonna do everything possible to get the cleanest paint job. So this is be tomorrow. Uh, paint codes UX. Look at my beautiful girlfriend. Um, flares. I just had one like this, 2012 back in, probably 2015, 16. I miss it. But it was a lot of problems, so that's why we had to get rid of it. But we did the exact same thing. These come plastic with a texture. You just gotta sand them with 180, then 320, then primer them. And then you sand them again and they're smooth. I didn't do anything, I'm just coming here to paint it. Rear bumper, flares, front bumper. That's what we're gonna do today. And then tomorrow we will go ahead and do the truck so hopefully you guys are enjoying again the first part was appreciation now i'm like let me just vlog this and see how it goes here's where we mix the, the paint pretty much our sealer we're going with the gray sealer it's it's very simple mixing the hardest part is finding the match to either blend or panel paint on this one we're pretty much painting the whole truck we got the best color we could get to panel paint to the hood so right now we're gonna do some sealer some 10 ounces we wipe down like i said what i use is waxing greaser with microfiber towel and then we also do what we call the glass cleaner it takes off fingerprints um, and kills the static electricity that's going around making sure you don't get no dirt nips so here's everything wiped down these things do not want to stand still so hopefully they don't fly out i am retaping this one because it Eh, it's still sturdy, so yeah, we're gonna let's put some sealer on this and we'll be back. Shout out to Colors, they hooked me up with this nice suit, so gotta give credit where it's credit due. So, hopefully, you guys enjoy. And like I said, not everything's gonna be about trucks, not everything is gonna be you know traveling, it's just gonna be a little bit of traveling, trucks, and the things I do. So, hopefully, you guys enjoy, and I can you know get you a wrap around of everything related to my lifestyle so let's get some sealer on this baby my bad gang i forgot to show you guys what sealer is but basically it looks like primer but the reason why we use sealer is you get a full coverage to put your base that way you know there's sometimes where you primer and you scuff it sometimes the transition is not the best or it takes bigger coats to finish us being that we're basically covering the whole vehicle it was the smartest idea plus it gets the micro scratches off and make sure you just have a nice uniform so i forgot that because i was you know jamming to los de la o they just released a vehicle, uh, vehicle. they just released una canción que me gusta no sé por qué porque estoy bien enamorado de mi honey pero la de los de la o ya la habían sacado pero ahora incluyeron a tito junior so it's a banger it's a banger but let's let's go in the in the office my happy place so we got like two coats in so i think we're gonna be good with three coats um obviously what i use i turn off the lights let's show you this is what i do so they're trying to hire me back here but i don't know like it'd be nice 
because tuviera perrón porque pues cuando tengo trabajo now I can use the booth but then como les digo gracias a Dios he estado ocupado donde uh, el patrón literalmente estaba dudando que iba a venir pero le dije es que estoy ocupado I actually brought uh, my boy Sean's uh, parts because I'm going to sand it primer here maybe paint it here and uh, that way I could just get it over it with while you know I'm doing bass and stuff like that so vamos aquí a ver si my bad if like I'm close or far away el vato está feo pero como que la tiene la mejor mujer en su vida so I don't really give a shit so this is what we do it looks covered tape looks covered but then you hit it with that sass and look, still looks cloud. Um, can't really pick it up. Ah, uh, you right there. You see the cloudiness? That's Tiger Strikes. That's what you don't want. So we definitely need more coats all around through there. Yep, we definitely need more. You see that? That's Tiger Strikes. That's something you do not want. So we need to we need to cover it. So let's let's go ahead and uh, put some more paint. Look at that. Oh no. So, one of the things of blending is, it's not so much the technique, like most people say, you just uh, basically hide the blend and trick the eye. You've seen how when the lights were on, it tricked your eye that it was covered, then you put some sun to it, and you're like, oh, it's not ready, so let's put some more base. All right, we have cleared. Woo, baby. No wonder they call me back. God damn. Sheesh. Oh. Whew. Look at that freaking OEM or OEM orange field. Now for these vehicles, you do have to have some orange field to match the rest of the vehicle. It's not a restoration. Well, it kind of is, but you get the point. Whew. All right, tomorrow's that. So basically right here, what we do is we make sure we blow out every crack and crevice. Make sure you have no dust. It just avoids a lot of wet sanding buff and a lot of dirt that's unnecessary. It's best to just be careful, be precautious, and blow your vehicle off before even sending it to the booth. So as we can see, now it's time for the body again i'm here to paint the vehicle and do the best i can if it was me i would have done a little bit things different but it is what it is not much i would have just you know took the bumper off and taken the splash shields off that way i could get behind these but shout out to my boy sean truck looks in in uh good conditions to spray we blew it out made sure the air the dust was going outside to my beautiful baby so now we just gotta wipe it down real good tape it up and re-wipe it you cannot be clean enough the last thing you want is a bunch of dirt so and especially on silver silver shows everything oh and i would have taken this off come on sean you left me without tools uh but you know we're gonna do the best we can with what we got stay tuned and i would have took that off but again i'm here to paint and that's what i'm here for and do the best i can so Let's get her in the booth and no let's uh wipe her down and then get her in the booth i know you guys missed this face so hopefully you guys are still watching i know it's not as exciting as being in houston but this is what i do and for the people that subscribe because they you know see my painting and stuff and i know a lot of people you know let me drink my coffee who wants coffee a lot of people you know love it when i show my work and i'm very thankful because you guys keep me going. So, shout out to my girlfriend. She's waiting on my response. So let me respond. She's in the booth. She's wiped down. Look how beautiful she looks now that she's wiped down. So, this is our initial wax and greaser removal. We just uh, wipe it down, make sure we get our first wipe. Make sure we, st they had like sap or something around here, but we ended up sanding. You can see a little bit here. Um, so, we're going to tape it up and then wax and grease it again and then do our magical 
glass cleaner wipe down and it will do what's called again the sealer that way you know instead of having like a dark gray here or silver here burn through here light primer here you'll cover it in like it's pretty much a primer uh that goes a wet on wet which means you don't have to dry and sand it again you just spray it wait it flash and then put your color and it'll be just one uniform because sometimes with silvers these things could right here you could see them after you clear them and that's something you don't want so what we do is we seal the whole vehicle we add uh, i think we did around four or five coats and we clear it and she's done so hopefully we get here out around five but like i said i enjoy this so and then i'm by myself so even better so yeah there she is i'm gonna grab something to eat it's cheat day today i think so let's see what what we uh come with come up with she's all good like i said i wish this gas door was off much cleaner look wish the tailgate was off much cleaner especially the handles um you know wish the bumper was off took me a long time to get this taped up but she's taped, taped up. up which again took me a while to tape that up uh but she's she's pretty much ready to do our second waxing grease remover i'll show you guys the, the sealer version uh, next this time though so all right let's go i almost forgot to show a picture of it sealed but here it is sealed all uniform one color now it's time to spray some base my bad gang my bad for me it's been a minute it's uh, nine o'clock so it took me a while but there she is all uniformed all nice just needs clear my bad bro Jim my, uh, customer actually wanted to stop by but I was just I was literally just just trying to get this you know done make sure everything's a hundred percent on my end uh, so. clear time there she is all cleared up focus focus there we go not a fan of this clear, but got a little boo-boo. Uh, can I focus? A little run. Not a fan of this clear, but yep, there she is. We're going to have to fix that run. Like I said, I'm a person that, you know, I want you guys to know the real me. And a lot of people hide those flaws. We ain't hiding those flaws. And then we got one right there. So either Sean or me will get those taken care of. What's the worst that could happen? I got to repaint that fender. It, it is what it is. The best part about this is that you could take two days and uh, pretty much taping it. And it'll take you 20 minutes at the most to untape it. It's just part of the process, I guess. And you just got to enjoy it. So hopefully you guys enjoy this time lapse. Um... I would put music, but of course I'll get copyright. And here I am untaping as well the front, which was a pain in the butt. But we got to do what we got to do and make work what we got to make work. So here we are pulling it away and shutting off the lights, making sure the booth is in good shape. That way the painter doesn't hate me a little less because I organized. So, yep, there we go. Well, guys, we finished it. We're happy with the results. Sean came in today and actually saw it overview. Like I said, um, there was a couple runs that we did, but he said he got them. So we're good. We feel happy. My boy Jim also, he's very happy with the picture. So can't wait for him to see it and come, you know, come see it and actually like it himself because I always try the best I can with what I do, you know, but it's uh, what if he sees something that I didn't see? Um, or I'm happy with it, but maybe, you know, he won't, you never know, but that's why I keep my happiness till the end. So we'll see if he actually enjoys his, I believe it's a 2014, mine was a 2012. So we'll see if, um, how it comes. Like I said, this vlog will probably be out by the time it's reassembled. If it's reassembled, we'll come and take a picture of it completely taken care of. Um, just gotta sh give a shout out to Jeff my boss and Sean, which was my foreman where it all started. 
and they still call me to come and spray their vehicles. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this vlog. Again, some days it's gonna be about that, sometimes it's gonna be about that, and sometimes it's gonna be about us traveling. So this is gonna be an all around vlog, vlog. So hopefully you guys enjoy. So here she is, all reassembled. Man, that thing looks nice. Before my 21 version, this was my favorite body style F-150. So hope you guys like it. And don't forget to subscribe. Saludos. Bendiciones.